across the nation gathered to remember the lives lost at Pearl Harbor 75 years ago today. A gun salute from ceremonies in Hawaii this morning commemorating the anniversary. A military aircraft flyby, the playing of taps, and a tugboat water tribute, all part of the day's events. A date that will live in infamy, according to President Franklin Roosevelt, December 7, 1941. The United States drawn into World War II by the Japanese attack. Today, reporter Megan Hahn spoke with veterans, and she's live for us. Megan? Many of the World War II veterans I spoke to were barely 18 when they enlisted to go fight in the war. They were just young teens when Pearl Harbor happened and decades have passed, but they say the memories of that day and their time serving last a lifetime. Bill Bennett was only 17 when he enlisted in the Navy to escape a tough childhood. Now at 92, he says the memories of war are still fresh in his mind. It's the stuff you carry back with you when I hear a sudden noise. I look for a place to hide. Of course, I have it after all these years. Bennett served as a signalman on several ships throughout the war. He lived through countless air raids. I started having uh, combat dreams. And uh, then all my hair fell out. The doctor's diagnosis? He said it was uh, nervous shock to cause my hair to fall out. Bennett visited Pearl Harbor with his unit during the war. The men who lost their lives made a lasting impression. Well, I thought of the horrible guys that were on those ships and never survived. And I still think about it. The numbers of those who survived fighting through World War II are dwindling. A Nebraska man who survived the bombing on the USS Arizona is in Hawaii for Pearl Harbor Remembrance Day. He's one of the five surviving service members who were on board the day the USS Arizona was bombed, killing 1,100 men in an instant. We sacrificed 1,177 men on that ship, and I, I was one of the lucky ones to get off. 75 years later, the courageous stories of these veterans show that some lessons go beyond a history book. The war is a terrible, terrible thing. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe announced he'll be coming to Pearl Harbor later in December to meet President Obama and pay respects to the dead. Reporting live, Megan Hahn, KMTV Action 3 News.